we have a parallelogram ABCD and we have to prove that the opposite angles B and D are equal in measure and the opposite angles A and C are equal in measure. Let's first see for angle B and angle D and then later we'll see for angle A and angle C. For B and D, let's draw the diagonal between the vertices A and C. Now you get two triangles, triangle ABC and triangle ADC. Let this be angle 1, this be angle 2, this be angle 3 and this be angle 4. Now if we look at this pair of parallel lines that is AB and CD, it's something like this. So this is A, this is B, this is C, this is D. Two parallel lines which are transversal, therefore alternate interiors are equal. So angle 1 is equal to angle 2. So angle 1 of triangle ABC is equal to angle 2 of triangle ADC. Now this connecting side that is AC is common to both these two triangles. So side AC is common. And then just as we have seen for this pair of parallel lines, we can see the same for AD and BC. So this is AD and this is BC. Two parallel lines, a transversal, the transversal and this alternate interior angles will be equal. Therefore angle 4 is equal to angle 3. So angle 3 of triangle ABC is equal to angle 4 of triangle ADC. So angle 1 and angle 2 are equal. Then AC is common that is the connecting side to this ang these two angles and then again angle 3 is equal to angle 4. So angle side angle right. So it is A S A. From ASA criterion, we can say that these two triangles are congruent. Now, since these two triangles are congruent, we can see here that this angle 1 is equal to angle 2, this angle 3 is equal to angle 4, and since these two triangles are congruent, we can say that angle ABC is equal to angle ADC. Angle ABC is equal to angle ADC. Or we can simply write it as angle B is equal to angle D. So we have proved here that this pair of opposite angles is equal to each other. Now let's see for angle A and angle C. For this, we have to draw the diagonal connecting the two opposite vertices B and D. And then we get two triangles, triangle ABD and triangle DBC. So triangle ABD and triangle DBC. Now let's quickly name the angles. Let uh, this be angle 1, this be 2, this be 3 and this be 4. Now you can look at this pair of parallel lines. So this is A, this is D, this is B and this is C. This is angle 1 and this is angle 2. So two parallel lines, the transversal, alternate interior, angle, alternate interior angles will be equal. Therefore, angle 1 of triangle ABD is equal to angle 2 of triangle DBC, right? Then this side BD is common. And then if you look at this pair of parallel lines, that is AB and DC, so A, B, D, C, a pair of parallel lines, it's transversal, therefore angle 3 is equal to angle 4, alternate interior angles, 
So angle three of triangle ABD is equal to angle four of triangle DBC. So again, angle one is equal to angle two, angle one is equal to angle two. We have A, then this side BD, that is common, so side, and then again, the angle on the same side BD, that is angle three is equal to angle four, right? So A, S, A criterion gets satisfied here as well. So we say that these two triangles are congruent. Now, angle one is equal to angle two, angle four is equal to angle three. Therefore, these two angles have to be equal to each other. So this angle B, D, A, B, angle D, A, B, is equal to angle B, C, D, or we can write as angle A is equal to angle C. So from here we, we can see that this pair of opposite angles is equal and from this one we can see that this pair of opposite angles is equal, hence proved.